back to today's video is exciting. We're going to be doing some flipping for some largemouth bass. Starting off with a 3 8 ounce tungsten jig. There's one. Ah! He gone. Let's try it again. We're going to flip right back in there where he was. Well, first bite. Couldn't connect. Got a piece of him. I'm guessing he grabbed the claws of this bait or else um, just the skirting but it looked like a good pound and a half bass kind of just flipping off to the side to shoulder this uh, drop off here and hoping to connect with some bass there's one right there in that drain culvert come on get up here there we go First one, right out of that drain culvert. No shocker, there's one in there, there's one in there almost every single time we're here. Come on, go back, turn around. There you go. There's one. Nice fish. Second one on the jig there, as I was swimming it in, I seen one come kind of towards it, and then he stopped and was on the weed edge. And then I threw back in the weed edge and he took it. I figured if he was slightly interested, he'd probably be fully as long as I slowed it down a bit. And sure enough, dropped it right on his head and he took it. Gotten two really nice bass now. Switching over to the fly rod, I see a lot of really, really quality bluegills on bed. And so that's what we're gonna give a shot now gonna see if we can get a few bluegills on some hair. First bluegill. First nice decent cast I've actually had. There's the first gill. Not a bad one. Very good solid start. They love the spider in here. I love topwater bluegill hits because they just nail it so dang hard. First one on the spider. Quality, probably seven inch bluegill. Good start. I know there's bigger ones in here. We're gonna keep going. See if we can get another solid one. There we go. That's the swamp donkey we were going after. Please stay on. Oh, come on up here. What a fish. Wow. That is a beautiful, what I'd like to call a red ear, I believe. That one took a little bit of time, but we got him. Probably eight inches. A little rough. You can tell that this fish is definitely older than beat up. It's on a bed right now, but very cool red ear. Very nice fish. Release that one now. There he goes. When the bass don't bite, just switch to bluegills, and you should be able to just tear them up. Anywhere there's ponds like this, these these bluegill are all on beds and they're just ready to eat. There's one. Oh yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Very cool. Another awesome bluegill on the little spider. Inhaled it. Another seven inch or so. Another gill. There's something, looks like a nice bluegill. Gotta love the lawn mowers in the background. Subdivision fishing at its finest. Ah. There's one. Another bluegill. Whoop. Bringing them up. Regular good old size eating bluegills. There's another one. I'm not an expert at bluegill fishing or fly fishing by any means. But what I'm doing right now seems to be working. Just keeping that rod tip nice and low. Working that bait really slow. Bunch of twitches in there. So nothing super fast. So. The most I'm pulling at any time is about two to three inches. If I can avoid um, 
sudden quick movements that's what I'm trying to do Ah, he's gone these fish are really really shy they're like very lethargic today not a lot of movements they're coming up to it really really slow they're inhaling the bait really nicely but uh, other than that it's pretty slow typically I'd be having a few bass hit this as well but not today I guess the bass are kind of turned off there's one Feels like a really, really nice bluegill. See if we can keep him through all these weeds here. Oh, we lost him in the weeds. Unbelievable. There's one. Another nice bluegill stuck in the weeds again. Hopefully we can keep him on. Looks like a really good one. Yeah. There it is. Nice, fat, thick one. This is the third species of bluegill I've caught. I don't know my exact names. I think this one might be like a, a green sunfish just by how big his mouth is. Got nice, bright yellow on his tail, though. Very cool. There's another one. Bluegill fly fishing madness. I'd say this is a thousand times easier than using bait. Rigging up bait and everything would take forever where this is just pounding them out of there. Such hard fighters. Pound for pound, they gotta be in the top like 10. Strongest fish there are. There's another bluegill. Another gill. There's a giant bass that swam by. I was hoping it was that, but uh, the gills get to it just too quick. There's a couple three, four pounders in here. They're maybe even a little bit bigger. I've caught a few threes out of here. Can't remember if I've got any fours, but there are some nice bass that live in this pond, but they're just overrun with these bluegills, which is why they're so nice and healthy in here. Just tons and tons of bluegill, making great food for these bass. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Caught a lot of fish out there. I'm actually getting a little nibble right now. I just got my fly sitting in the water. But it was a lot of fun to make. Um, the bass, you know, weren't super cooperating today, but that's okay. Switched over to the bluegills, and now we're tearing up the bluegills. So we're going to get back in there, stay for a little bit longer. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned a little bit about fly fish. Make sure you keep that rod tip down. That way uh, your bait doesn't move so much. And that really, really is one of the things that I struggle with today. But I'm finally getting on those fish and catching a lot of bluegill out here. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Peace, y'all.